Hey, hey there gamers, how's it going? It's me, your guy Waddles, and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide. Ah, the bamboo farm. The great bamboo farm. Uh huh. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe it's not as great as its name says. <laughs> I kind of need a better bamboo farm. It. This is not the best way to make scaffolding. Uh, definitely got to put that one on the to-do list. So, gamers, if you saw the last episode, you know exactly what we're going to do today. Welcome to Guardian Farm Part 2. In the last episode, we went ahead and built these two guardian farms. One's right over here, one's right over there. These are two identical farms, and the rates, the, the, the loot, it's pretty good already. I mean, take a look at that, and then this chest over here, it actually has a little bit more, which is pretty crazy. I emptied these right at the same exact time. Today, we need to set up a permanent collection and storage and sorting system for all of that good, good loot. So if we take a look at this chest right here, we have three different things. We have cooked cod, we have prismarine shards, and we have prismarine crystals. Those are the primary drops that this farm is going to get us. Now, because of how we set this thing up, it wouldn't be out of uh, the ordinary. It wouldn't be too crazy. I, I guess it would definitely be out of the ordinary, but it, it, theoretically, we could have something like an ink sack fall through those lava gaps right there and end up in our system. So we'll definitely need an overflow, a runoff chest as well. Now, our storage systems. We could definitely combine all of this into one gigantic storage system in the middle. That would be good, but uh, we would have a problem. Our hoppers would be running opposite directions, right? We have one going over towards that way and one this way, and we could get around it, but it would just be, in my opinion, I think overly complex. Instead, I'd like to put like a nether portal, so the entrance in the middle, or maybe even a kelp farm. I think that could look pretty cool too. Not too sure. I haven't decided quite yet. So, uh, with that being said, I think I'd like to go for two separate storage systems. So we'll do today's episode just like we did the last episode. I'll build one of them, we'll build this side, and then I'll go ahead and probably do the other one off camera, something like that. I think it kind of worked out nicely in the last episode, especially considering the fact that uh, everything's identical here. We're, we're basically just creating this beautiful, beautiful symmetrical ocean outpost. It's going to be good. So, right here is none other than the infamous, the famous redstone shulker box, ready for action, loaded with a lot of supplies. So, we're going to set up two item sorters today. Again, they're going to be identical, but we're, we're doing two. So, for one item sorter, we're going to need, I think... Uh, nine repeaters, uh, nine comparators, and nine redstone torches. We're going to need a bunch of hoppers that I didn't make quite yet, and a bunch of chests as well. Now, to get the items into these sorting systems, we're going to need a bubble column, and then something to actually take the items from these hoppers, send them to a bubble column, and then we'll have more hoppers to pick them up, and we'll do our sorting system, but it's actually going to be different than the sorting system that we did in the world before, that at least a little bit. I did also go ahead and heal up all of the tools, heal up the armor as well. The waddle swings have been worn out a little bit because I keep using them, but yeah, so we're pretty much stocked up and ready to go, other than, unfortunately, wood. I, I don't have as much wood as I really should. I have a lot of iron, and I brought a lot of iron, but yeah, the wood, that, that's gonna be something that I need to work on throughout today's episode, because, well, actually, well, actually, actually, Hey, uh, that's a lot of hoppers. 21 hoppers. Wow, that's a lot of hoppers. Uh, we might be good. Maybe. I mean, we're going to need more chests, so I'll have to make another uh, tree. Uh, hey, hey, I, I'm, I'm fine with that. That's cool. Okay, so in terms of the design of the ocean outpost, completely unrelated to the item sorter right now, I have two different ideas. Uh, idea number one, we can maybe use iron blocks. Iron blocks would be pretty cool. It would be a pretty big flex. Uh, we can make like an arch in here, right? Something like this. And then like we curve it. I don't know, something. Uh, we, we can mess with it later. But yeah, we could have an arch of iron blocks and something in there. Uh, or we could do that arch and we could probably make the arch a little bit better with uh, prismarine bricks, but the prismarine bricks won't stand out as much. They won't look as fancy. So option number three that I actually didn't say, that's right, I hid it from you. Uh, we could do maybe dark prismarine. That could look really, really cool. But uh, the really, really the big question here is where do I want to set this thing? So if I were going to make like an arch, I think it would make sense to do it uh, you know, like one block past the window, like behind it, I think that would probably make sense, which means we can go ahead and take that concept and transfer it over here, and that's how we lead into the item sorter. So, 
Um, no matter what, we will have storage over here in this area. Is it nighttime? I think it's nighttime. Oh, it's oh, it's nighttime. Okay, the spiders are climbing. We're gonna sleep. Now I'm 100% going to need to add some skylights in here before the time that I'm done because, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to keep track of the day-night cycle. But anyways, we're going to have storage over here. Now I'm thinking we're going to have a lot of storage, so we're going to do something like this. We'll have three chests for prismarine shards, three chests for crystals, and then probably three chests for cooked cod as well. So this storage system is going to be pretty big. It's going to take up a lot of space. I think we'll probably end up setting it up something like this right here then we'll have extra space over there for uh, maybe kelp farms I, I have no clue we'll have extra space there though okay so we have the location down we'll do storage in there and storage in there we have the basic concept down where we have three separate chunks three chests wide now i think i'd like to do our chests three blocks tall as well so we have a perfect three by three of actually actually of double chests so these will be doubled up like that now we need to figure out the actual positioning of these chests and i think that's what that l is actually going to be so the chest won't go all the way down to the ground we'll only have a three by three that should be more than enough we can make an overflow storage somewhere else or if we have to we could expand it downwards but i'm really hoping that we don't have to so i'd like to do a three by three of chests placed right up there because eventually i'd like to do a floor right here walking along i guess these um, aquariums as we could call them walking along the aquariums so we can look in and see what's going on i mean if we wanted to now the iron blocks are only placeholders i think the floor here should probably be jungle wood that would look really really good that would look pretty on point so iron block uh placeholders pretend it's jungle wood and then we have chests right over here look at that that is perfect right on uh i guess level foot level with us you know we can access everything nice and easily which will look really good we could do like some kind of uh raised up area it it'll all look good at least it looks good in my head so basically i'm thinking that the chests need to be raised up here now uh with that in mind i think it's time for me to actually go ahead and get all of our double chests in and then i actually need to hook hoppers up to the back of this thing so hopper hopper excuse me hopper 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 right there then i'll need one more hopper above it that'll be the sorting hopper and then finally we'll actually do another row of hoppers above it but i hey, hey i'm getting ahead of myself hold on hold on uh, i'll be right back i'm excited about the storage setup very excited oh wait but where is the dirt where is the dirt this is not good oh here it is okay and uh science time can we grow a tree in here is this gonna work i think it's gonna work uh do you work do you work Ooh, you don't work okay okay well maybe it'll work but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna waste more bone meal i mean i only have infinite amounts of bone meal but hey, that's not the point boom so so much easier all right so section number one is set up and ready to go it's time to start sorting the items so what we have here currently is a three by three of double chests they're all doubled up and then behind all of those chests i have a bunch of hoppers going into those chests now it is very important that these hoppers actually all face into the chests if they don't the items won't actually ever be able to make it into the chest so uh, make sure the pipes are going right into the back of the these chests so far this is exactly the same as the other item sorter that we've done so far but uh we're actually doing this backwards so usually i would uh start with moving the items over here and then build the sorter this time because i know exactly where the sorter is meant to go where the storage is going to be we're actually building this first it doesn't really make much of a difference though so uh these blocks or at least some of them are going to have to go those can probably go back though but uh those ones definitely have to go now we need some placeholder blocks so placeholder 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 then three hoppers now these hoppers are the most important hoppers maybe in this whole thing these are the hoppers that will control the whole locking system so in each section here we only want one type of material so for example the crystals that means we need to lock these hoppers right here so these hoppers can actually only pick up prismarine uh, crystals or shards or cod you know whatever we basically need to lock those hoppers so we can filter certain items in there and let other items pass over it so to lock the hoppers we're going to need some comparators we're going to need some repeaters we're going to need some torches and we're going to need redstone dust we're also going to need a block to lay the redstone dust on and i'm a changed uh, person i'm a very very changed person if you haven't noticed if i haven't said it before i've got a lot of iron now that's right we're going to go ahead and do all of our redstone on iron today oh big move so three blocks coming out just like that 
then we can go ahead and dig down there three more blocks right there then we need to go back down over here clear some of this stuff out so i can see what i'm doing i believe we need to do uh more blocks right there and then finally uh right here more blocks just like that so we end up with a t-shape and then two diagonals right there this is just a basic item sorter uh that works amazingly it works beautifully especially when tiled next to itself so uh down here we need repeaters which means we actually probably uh will need to to take these blocks out because the repeaters need to face forward so repeater right here repeater right there repeater right there then these blocks can go right back they, they never moved then right here uh yeah hold on a minute <laughs> right here we need redstone torches just like that perfect it's beautiful then we can go ahead and climb up here and take uh some comparators and have them face out of these hoppers so comparator 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 and then finally the redstone dust goes all over this bit right here and boom we have just created our locking system so now we need to go ahead and go down here and find the thing that we're trying to sort in section one so what goes in the first section hmm it doesn't really matter but i'm thinking we're gonna go with shards first so we'll take all of those shards thank you very much we'll just take this all uh we can just empty that uh we'll get more in there in no time as soon as we back up from this thing now we need a placeholder block hmm what's gonna be the placeholder today definitely not any of these prismarine blocks probably not the spruce either uh the safest placeholder is probably just going to be cobblestone slabs so slabs i hope i have enough of you i might not i i might uh i might i might have enough slabs hey yeah oh boy i'm definitely going to need to end up uh the back at the base at some point i will absolutely not have enough cobblestone no matter what even if i use up all of this cobblestone it's nighttime again it's nighttime i need to remember to sleep okay so at some point i'm gonna need to go back over to the base to get more cobblestone because this is my favorite placeholder item i i definitely won't have any cobblestone slabs over here you can use any item in the world pretty much for a placeholder item uh but you should definitely be using items that won't fall into the sorting system and break it anyways it's time to go ahead and lock our hoppers so one shard in there that's what we want to go through into the system and then 44 placeholder items spread out just like that boom that's locked we do it again over here one shard 44 uh, a, a 44 placeholders just like that beautiful and then one more time do that again boom we're all locked now usually and on the other sheep farm sorter i had a water current up here we could totally do that that would work but uh this is a new me we can actually make lots and lots of hoppers because i have lots and lots of iron so instead of the water current up here we're going to use a hopper sorting system which is actually going to be a little bit more efficient and a little bit more effective we'll have less overflow so we have our sorting hoppers right there then we have a line of hoppers right here that are connected to each other moving right across the top of here if i were to place say a prismarine shard in here it should be picked up by one of the sorting hoppers so shard goes in there and then if i were to place say a dirt something that's not in that system it should end up over here so dirt yep you're right there you move right across the sorting system that's perfect and the shard isn't in there now the shard should be uh somewhere in here yeah right there in the first chest perfect that is exactly what we wanted and elites that's how you do it that's how you create a sorting system that is crazy crazy efficient now uh one thing to note this can technically still be overloaded if i were to throw a whole stack of shards in here the hoppers might not be able to handle it and some of the stuff might overflow but i would never be throwing a whole stack of shards in there anyways once this thing is up and running it should be able to keep up with itself and it'll be fine just in case though we will have an overflow chest just to make sure things are basically all good but uh now i need to go ahead and copy that two times over and so this is all actually pretty basic stuff here i wanted to use this next bit while i work on the next uh, sorting tiles to basically talk about redstone projects and how i tackle them redstone projects are always 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 best tackled in small parts you'll always be beginning with something that you're trying to accomplish so today in my case i'm trying to sort some items once you know some of the basic things about redstone you can really start accomplishing some pretty cool and impressive things if i'm being 100 honest i really don't consider myself to be that good at redstone it's like i know a little bit about redstone i know what i have to know but like i'm not like i'm not doc m i'm not etho i'm not mumbo jumbo no way like i don't know i only actually know like 
a little bit, at least in my opinion. If you take any redstone project on piece by piece, step by step, it actually gets to be pretty simple once you know exactly how to actually accomplish things. So for example, the auto sorter, once you know how an auto sorter works, you could make a gigantic auto sorter that sorts every item in Minecraft. It's gonna be really tedious, it'll be a lot of work, but you could do it because you know exactly how auto sorters work. And when it comes to redstone projects, especially large scale ones, that's really all there is to it. You know the basics, you take the basics, you expand them to gigantic scales, and boom, you just created some kind of gigantic, crazy cool thing, and it's amazing, it's nice. It took a lot of time, it looks super complex, but you actually know that it's not that bad. It, it was actually kind of decently easy to build. Which, in my opinion, is one of the things that makes redstone so cool. You can build some gigantic machine. It looks super complex, but if you built it yourself and you kind of understand how all the redstone works, you know that it's really not all that complex at all, which is actually really, really cool. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's one of the things that I just, I don't, I just really like about redstone. Okay, so I have the crystals in the middle section, and then finally the cooked cod at the end. Now it's time to make sure our hoppers go all the way across the top of this thing and over to our destination. The gold target chest is this spot right here. This is going to be the overflow chest until we do something a little bit better. I don't know when that'll be, but uh, for now, that'll be perfect. So we need a bunch more hoppers in here. Am I going to have enough or am I going to be one short? Uh, no, I have enough. This is amazing. So now. Now I should be able to do this. If I put a cooked cod in there, I put uh, a crystal, and then I put a shard in there, and then finally we put something random like, uh, I don't know, like spruce wood, that'll be fine. We should see this. Uh, we should have a crystal somewhere in, or uh, excuse me, a shard in one of these ones, which I'm assuming is that one. Then we have a crystal right in there, nice. Then a cod there, and finally in the overflow chest, we have the spruce wood, which is perfect. It works exactly as expected. So that's all good so now the next piece of the puzzle we need our items to go from the bottom of the aquarium tank thing all the way up to here how do we do that well uh we could get tricky and do crazy advanced things or we could get pretty simple and basically turn the items from this thing into item form put them in basically an ice trail and then a bubble column and then have the hopper at the top pick the items back up I think that's the way that I'd like to go. So basically, this whole thing is gonna have to go and we're gonna need to set up an automatic dropper circuit to start things off. This automatic dropper circuit will shoot things into a water stream. The water stream will go over, we'll have a bubble column that goes up, and then the hopper takes it from there. So let's see, we could do uh, our starting one right there, that's fine, that's good, which means we want to do the bubble column, I think, think well oh oh okay so we're actually kind of tight on space here we're gonna need to do the bubble column actually right here against the side of this thing that should be fine i don't think the guardians will spawn in the bubble column i i hope they won't <laughs> i guess we're gonna have to find out uh huh i didn't think about that but uh we're gonna need to make a, a sticky piston sticky piston thank you very much and then for the automatic circuit we're gonna need two observers and a comparator and then a little bit of space so i've actually already got the materials for the other one uh we'll bring redstone with us too in case i'm forgetting something so let's see if I can remember this circuit off of memory. This one is one that I don't necessarily have down all the way, but uh, I think basically what we want to do is we want to do uh, another hopper right there to space things out a little bit. Then we can go ahead and do, I guess, uh, oh, I didn't bring it with me. I, I need the dropper. Yeah, this thing, this piece would be kind of important, but we could do a dropper right there, just like that. Now, coming off of that dropper, we're going to need a comparator to detect when items are actually inside of the thing. So, redstone block right there, then we can go ahead and get rid of that. Now, the comparator needs to face out of the dropper, so uh, just like that, and it might actually be on. Uh, no, not, not yet. It'll be on in a minute, I think, when an item gets in it. Uh, let's just test this out aha okay so it is on that's good now we need a sticky piston right there thank you very much sticky piston then we need two observers to look at each other so you you are going to look uh no you're, you're not looking at me you're not looking at me no all wrong 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 we need you to turn around you are gonna look right no okay hold on hold on a minute you are gonna go right no okay why is this so difficult <laughs> uh i want you observer to look at 
that yeah like that okay and then when an item gets inside of here it should be pushed up this little circuit powers and then uh this will unpower as soon as that's emptied uh item go in there uh we're, we're gonna let it happen naturally yep just like that exactly that's the circuit that we needed i remembered it off of the top of my memory this is amazing the the highlight of my day okay this is great now we just need to hook a water system up to this thing and we're good to go so uh let's see let's build the water thing out of prismarine this time switch it up a little bit uh i think what we're gonna want to do is drop things down so we don't have any issues with you know flooding our redstone so the thing will go this way right over to uh oh i, I never I, <laughs> it would help if i dug the block out from the top okay so uh the column the goal the target is that spot right there we need to move items over to here that should be easy enough and then we just need to move them up with a single soul sand not bad so they go over to here we'll do a turn and then they'll go right up there uh we'll have the soul sand right there that'll be exactly perfect that'll work great so all that that means is we need to do this and encase this and we will actually encase this all the way we're gonna put a ceiling on this so items don't end up getting thrown up there but uh i'll come back and do the ceiling in a minute that spot is fine there's no way that the items could be thrown on top of the comparator not worried about it at all so that'll go over to here then again i'll come back in with a soul sand but first i'll put a dirt there and make it all water sources but the turn that's the only catch and thankfully that's not much of a catch because watch this water source right there in front of the dropper that'll pick up the items and start moving them this way and then it does actually turn around the corner but just to be safe to make sure items actually make it to their goal we'll do a sign right there then we'll go ahead and do another water source right there that'll move things over then right in front of the bubble column we'll do another sign so then once we have water in here stuff doesn't spill backwards and then i can just fill everything else in all the way up to the top so this can just go straight up i don't see a point in using glass down here because i will probably never see it this is kind of ugly ill looking in general so we're gonna go ahead and just use a bunch of bricks and go all the way up but uh will things change here uh no i don't think i'll see this either we'll go ahead and just use uh normal blocks and i can always change it later uh or you know what you know what you know what we'll do this we'll compromise we'll do bricks right there and we'll do glass right there Air, no you know what no 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 that makes no sense uh we'll do, we're just gonna do it that way <laughs> and then right at the top of this thing we're going to place a sign on our second hopper and we'll place another block right here so the water that we get in here that i actually need to go get uh, anyways i was saying we place all of these things like this so the water doesn't spill everywhere we're in our redstone and so it does actually go over the hopper as well we need the water to go over the hopper otherwise uh, items will never actually make it into the hoppers but uh, i walked away from this thing and i heard it going like crazy or at least i thought hmm we might have a problem but let's go ahead and i think place the dirt down for now and get these all turned to water sources so our bubble column actually works then we can go ahead and get rid of the kelp and replace the dirt with a soul sand block this should be good uh that activates absolutely throws us up there at a crazy speed perfect now uh the problem what is the problem now down here uh, i hear the dropper going like crazy is it okay it's missing that's it that or no oh i need ice right there that's what it is of course of course of course of course i brought the ice too uh that's my bad <laughs> you see another plus side of doing these projects in steps like small steps like this right here is when you find something wrong it's easier to go back and correct the wrong fix the problem so we should probably do uh an ice block right there as well we could go ahead and double up here let's just do it because why not so we have two blocks of ice there two blocks of ice there that should definitely be more than enough to rocket these items around the curb and into uh into the bubble column so now if we put that there oh wait don't shoot that at me you you will pick it up uh, if we do blocks in here there's no way that this wouldn't work so that will go like that we'll come back in here and get some lighting so we don't get mob spawning there but do we have a working sorting system let's go ahead and take a look what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to pull everything out of this thing including the random stuff and then we're going to walk away and we're going to see if this is actually working but there's one other thing that we should do too and that is uh definitely put a cap on this thing so the items aren't just thrown up into the air uh we, we don't need that happening so if we were to do that that should i think be good that should be everything um okay let's go ahead and let this farm run so i'm gonna walk over here and stand still for like 
10 seconds. See, this is the cool thing about this place. I can stand still over here and I can see the guardians are falling down into this thing. And then I can kind of see, I think if I were to jump up a little bit, I can kind of see the guardians are being, you know, moved down into the lava and burning, at least when they try and swim up. That's pretty evil. It's, it's definitely really, really evil, but I mean, I can see that it's working. So what do we have in the storage sorting system? Anything? anything yet no nothing yet okay well it's fine maybe i didn't give it enough time um oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no i think there's one more thing that i forgot to do <laughs> uh i didn't put the water back yeah i didn't i the water needs to be right there that's my bad okay um <laughs> we're gonna just run that experiment again after everything makes its way through the system all right, give me a minute. Okay, this is the time now. Everything is absolutely in its place now. We're standing back. We're going to go ahead and let it run for, let's just say, a minute this time. Then uh, we'll go ahead and check the thing. Okay, so I lost track of time. It wasn't exactly a minute, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. What do we have? We have, uh, all right, we have shards going into the system right there. We have crystals right there. This is definitely less than a minute long. Two uh, cooked cod right there. And then finally, nothing in the overflow chest, which is perfect. That means the system works and it's working beautifully too. That is super exciting. There we go, 14. That's the numbers that I'm looking for. That's exactly what I thought. And we can actually go ahead and check this by walking around down here so do we hear any items being picked up uh definitely not so it seems that all of the items are moving through the thing uh successfully i think let's go ahead and check just double checking here yep everything looks good that's perfect exactly what i thought okay we're gonna go ahead and close this thing back up throw a couple torches on it and we're good to go we're actually good to go Wow, I'm excited about this. I'm big, big hype, but I have a lot of work to do now because that was only half of the system. So that's all in now, which means it's time for me to go over to the other side and catch everything up just like I did in the last episode. Everything over here is going to be exactly identical to everything that I did over there. Only difference here this time is, uh, well, I guess which direction it's facing. But other than the direction it's facing, I'm going to keep everything else the same. We'll even do shards, crystals, and then cod. I'll be back once the project is done. Elites, a gamer could not resist temptation. I had to. I absolutely, 120,000% had to come back and make sure my circuit worked. The tunneling, the tubing looks beautiful. And oh boy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like the look of that. That's really good. Definitely fits that whole Ocean Monument vibe. Will I ever see it after today's episode? Well, honestly, maybe in like one more episode or something, but uh, yeah, after that, we're probably never going to see it again, but it was worth it. I promise it was worth it. But circuit number two and uh, sorting system number two is now up and running. The stuff is functioning exactly as planned. So 50 prismarine shards over here as uh, already, and then 22 crystals, 17 cod, but there's a catch. So while we were working on the other one, like that one earlier in the episode, this thing was fully functional and running, which means lots and lots of loot was collected in the meantime. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and spread this into the storage system over here. Maybe, maybe not in the first chest because this chest is going to fill up and then these ones will. And then I think things will fill up over here next. And then over here, we're gonna have to keep our eyes on things and see if the hopper sorting system gets messed up. And that is exactly why I plan on leaving Axis behind here. Oh, by the way, I did decide to actually open up the bubble column as well. I did some glass in here so I can see in there in case there's ever any problems. I thought it would be a pretty good idea to actually come back in here uh, down below this thing down here and put some glass just so I can check up on the thing, make sure it's working if there seems to be an issue in the future. I don't plan on there being any issues but I mean, who plans on there ever being any issues, right? Uh-huh. So, I don't know. I thought it would just basically be a good idea. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and move all of those things into that sorting system in a little while. Now, we can go ahead and check this sorting system because this was running the whole time I was over there. So, uh, that much... 
And I think that, yeah, there's a little bit in there. This much, nice. And then that much, very, very nice. And then, of course, nothing, or uh, actually, yeah, I guess a little bit of something in this chest, probably from when I came back over here and put the glass in there, too. Now, uh, in terms of design, because this is like pretty, pretty bad looking right now, this is what I'm thinking. We could do sort of like a semicircle of some sort of black. I'm honestly thinking maybe like purple terracotta because it kind of looks bluish. Uh, just basically going all the way along the back side of this thing. So we'll change the shape of the monument slightly like this stuff will come out and yeah, we'll have this whole rounded look. I think that'll look pretty good. But uh, the front. So, so, so I hate to leave it like this uh, today elites, but I think we're not going to actually do too much to it today because jungle wood is the big thing that I'm waiting for i do have one cool idea though i'm thinking maybe we could do sea lanterns surrounding these chests so like sea lanterns there oh hold on a minute we can't do sea lanterns above the chest because we won't be able to open the chest ah there goes that i oh hey hold on a minute we can how does it work i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it works, but maybe we do that. That could actually be a look. See, I don't usually see sea lanterns as building blocks, and so that's exactly why I was thinking uh, we could actually use these things as building blocks just to make things look a little bit more cool, a little bit different. Uh, this would also provide a crazy amount of light over here, which might look really, really good against all of the chests, because when chests get all dark and weird looking, I mean, I don't know, I, I, I just don't like the look, so maybe, maybe a bunch of sea lanterns surrounding the chest like this to sort of kind of cap that thing off i think that actually looks really really cool then of course the whole jungle wood flooring like i was talking about and then maybe on the bottom side of these chests we could do probably just bricks like this to kind of cap everything off make it feel like a solid piece i think that would look really good but unfortunately i'm not going to be able to tell for 100 percent certain until the jungle wood is in but i actually think i really do like that look i think that's pretty sweet looking that's like a lot of sea lanterns, a very, very different feel. We're going to go for more of a modern spacey feel in here anyways, I think. Uh, yeah, maybe something like that. And then uh, a lot of the shape is definitely going to change as well, which means we have a lot of beautification work to do to this ocean monument. I am thinking that the top part of these ocean uh, monument farms, you know, the whole exterior of these things, uh, th they definitely need a whole lot of work. I mean, I'm not even thinking about that. That's just something that I know. I'm planning on maybe doing a whole episode dedicated to beautifying this ocean monument base, the ocean monument outpost, making it look good. Now, a lot of the focus of the beautification process will definitely be on the interior because once this is all said and done, once it's all up and running, we'll have the nether portal entrance inside of this thing, and uh, we honestly probably won't see the outside very much. But with that being said, I do need the, the outside to at least look a little bit better than it does right now, so uh, we'll definitely need to do some work out there too. What I'm getting at here, elites, is the fact that there is going to be a poll on screen right now. Uh, the poll is all about that beautification episode idea. Is that something that you're into, or is that something that, that you're not as into? Be honest, vote in it. it, it would help me out, and I guess if, the, if that idea isn't very popular, then I'll scrap it, I'll figure out something different, and we'll make things happen that way. Uh, oh, for sure, for sure, for sure, we need those, those curves. <laughs> uh, but I think that is actually going to be just about it for this episode of the Minecraft Guide. Uh, we now need to find a jungle, and I think that is going to be the plan for the next episode. I think I have a really cool exploration trick in mind that should help us find a jungle, hopefully, hopefully, quickly. It's at least different, and it should be pretty fun. But until next time, Elites, if you enjoyed this episode, let me know by dropping a like and subscribing if you have not subscribed yet. Today, I'd like to send a big thank you, a big shout-out to my patron, Cowbirdie. Thank you very much for the support. Again, thank you all for watching. Links, as always, are down in the description. Everything else you need is down below the video. I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, Elites, it's me, your boy, Waddles.